also fighting the biodegradation of my 1987 Chevy S10 it is a uh, constant battle here. I had a seat cover that I bought and that broke down and fell apart. I don't have a garage. I don't have a paved driveway so the degradation is pretty high on this thing. So I just used this blanket I had at my rummage sale and no one bought it. So I just used the same uh, securing technique that my seat cover had. So I just doubled up the ends of the blanket, took a razor blade, sliced through. I used these buttons that are supposed to help it from not ripping, but they don't seem to be seating right. They don't lock together. So I just took a rope, ran it through. And then where the blanket comes through the seat, it dub it's doubled up. So I just ran a rope through, and I tied it, and I left the slack because I may have to readjust it. Then at the top of the seat, I just did the same thing. I doubled it over, used one of those buttons, tied it and then tied it onto my rope that runs under the seat and I did it at at four points uh, these ropes that are deeper into the seat I just taped the rope to a hanger that it, that's been straightened out and just ran the rope until it came out down here so I have it attached at four points on the seat and four points on the top of the bench and I just tuck the material in so alright it's a since I had all these materials it's a free seat cover it took about an hour to do